internet. I'm Scott and this is a Plughead Live how-to. Today we're going to take a look at how to set up the Monster Smart Illuminescence Digit product. What you'll need uh, to do this, uh, to do this right, will be the control unit, one digit panel, and your power cord. Now, uh, the reason why we connect one of the panels is because uh, it's easier to see the state of the system with the panel connected than just using the tiny little blue LED on the controller. You can do it that way, but it's way easier this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the controller. Um, we're going to take the cable. Remember, green always goes away from the controller, which obviously explains why green is what comes out of it. We're going to plug it into the bottom of our panel, as we have shown here. We're going to take our power. We're going to plug it into the controller, and one of a couple of things will happen. Um, it will either turn on blinking, if that's the case. Ignore this next step. It might come on in a solid color. It might come on to a scene like what you see here. Um, obviously, we're on a scene right now, which is not at all the thing that we want. We want it to be blinking. So what we do is we press the power button for about 10 seconds and the light will turn off and then start blinking green. Blinking green is what we want to see. All right, so we're blinking green now. On the app, you're gonna see your list of devices. In the top right corner, there will be a plus sign. You'll press the plus sign. Here you'll see a list of devices that you can add. The third one uh, currently says lighting Wi-Fi. That's what you're gonna wanna connect. Now on this next screen, it reminds you that you must be connected to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. 5.0 will not work. So make sure you're connected to a 2.4. If you're currently connected to a 5, disconnect and connect to your 2.4 version. Uh, you'll also want to make sure that on the screen you see uh, your Wi-Fi network name and password. If you do not see the password name, uh, or the password on that screen, you're not gonna be able to get past it. Once you see that, we're gonna hit next. On the next screen, it's going to remind you to make sure that your device is blinking green. We've already done that, so we're gonna click confirm indicator rapidly blink, which is weird wording we know, and hit next. Then you're gonna see a progress screen. Uh, first, you'll see um, a magnifying glass. Then you'll see a cloud. Um, at some point, once you see the cloud, uh, you'll know that you're almost done. You'll see that the light has turned off. The light is going to turn back on here in a second, and then it's going to show done. Uh, and the light turns back on to solid green. So I'm going to hit done. It's going to come up and ask if you, uh, if you want to see the design guide. I'm going to say no thanks. But if you're new to the product, running through the design guide is a really good idea. It, uh, it gives you a lot of ideas on what to do. It's very similar to the book that comes with it though. But now we're here, we have the ability to control our color. We have the ability to set scenes. And of course, we have the ability to turn it off. From here, um, clearly you don't just want one panel. You wanna be able to do uh, multiple panels and create a design, possibly from your design guide. So what we're gonna do is, you take your panels, you look for the arrow, we're gonna take the red, remember red always goes toward the controller, and green always comes uh, out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the green, we're gonna connect it on here, we're gonna take the red, and we're gonna connect it on here. We're gonna do the exact same thing here. We're gonna connect red coming out. Green coming in. So we now have three panels connected together and then we'll apply power back to our controller. And you'll see all three panels now come on in the mode that you left it on when you uh, turned it off, which is one of my favorite things. Uh, the last line didn't come back to how you left it, which was 
super annoying for everybody. So these come back to the state you left them in. Hooray. Uh, obviously, the smart Illuminescence line is very different than the Illuminescence line. Uh, having the ability to control it from Alexa and Siri and Google Assistant, uh, being able to control it from your phone, all of that, plus these scenes and things make them really unique. Uh, we really, uh, we really hope that this video helps. Uh, if you have additional questions, please feel free uh, to comment below. Uh, if you're on YouTube, um, if you are on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell because we all know that subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube anymore. That way, you'll get notified when we upload new videos, how tos, unboxings, our weekly shows, and more. And um, if you want to subscribe through uh, Apple Podcasts or something like that, you can always go to uh, pluckitslive.com slash subscribe and see all the different ways that you can follow our content. And with that, until next time, ciao.